That's true. And who else was there? The Jews were. And no, that seemed funny. It ain't no calm down. Look, God, I'm laughing because I thought of a joke from three weeks ago. But go you ahead. You don't have the going. answers, Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest today. As you may have heard, it's all over the place. China decided that they needed a Trump of their own. They saw what I did, making America great again, and they said, we need to make China great again. So here he is, our special guest, the Chinese clone Trump. Chinese clone Trump, hello, how are you? Thank you very much for having me today, okay? Really, wow. it's, it's a big, something like a big pressure, right? It's a big pressure. <laughs> It is so good. You know what? I'm cracking up a little bit because I'm so excited, right? We call it so excited. Sure. I'm so happy that I'm smiling because, you know, I'm a business guy, right? I've got a very stern face so the opponents know that I'm ready to pounce, right? But you, you put a smile on my face because I love it, right? There's nothing a Trump loves more than uh, another Trump, okay? Very, very true. And frankly, Asian people, people, they call me, you know what they call me? They call me... What do they call me? Orange, right? They call you orange person, right? Well, orange it's, and rero. It's, it's so disgusting, the racism, right? The race, the blatant racism. These people, they claim not to see color. All they see is orange this and orange that. It's such a disgrace. But tell me, look, have you been following the controversy with Kanye? Right. Well, Kanye is a very special person to China, Okay. Frankly, right. he has been, excuse me, he has been, you know, sharing his shoes, okay? And that, you know what they made? They make him right here in China. So we really respect Mr. Conrad Wesh for a lot of things, but he's been saying a lot of spicy things. And believe me, I know a spicy, okay? Says one and, sauce and all sorts of things. And I know you... You people make shoes, right? Nobody makes shoes like the Chinese people. That I can tell you. Believe me. Right? That it's unbelievable. Now look, Kanye's been getting into a lot of hot water talking about the Jewish people. Now China, it's very interesting, right? It's very interesting. Of course. Uh, do you guys have Jews in China? You know, we don't have any Jews in China, but we do have. Uyghur, right? Have you heard about the Uyghur? Really? I've heard about the Uyghur people. There's a lot of Uyghurs, and, you know, they're pretty uppery, too. They're pretty uppery people, and they say things about the Jews, you know, sorts of things. But we try to really suppress their voices, right? Because we don't believe that people should be getting array with saying all sorts of things, right? Well, frankly, I hear you're having sort of a genocide, right? We call it genocide, right? right the of mass course. extinction of people. And look, Trump is, I don't look, I don't support genocide, okay? Because I like people living, right? I like people with jobs and making money. But you guys, you're sort of systematically killing the Uyghur people. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting. Right. It's very well, interesting. We are really caring people at revels that I don't think anybody's ever seen before, okay? Really, if, wow. you look, if you look at the numbers, I mean, we took it from a lot of people to basically a little bit of people. So we're doing our best in Riri. If you look at the numbers, like I said, I mean, we're really curing people so fast and so believe me. And you're doing tremendous with the wall, right? Because you guys had a wall way before we had a wall. You have a great wall, and I wanted to build a yes. great wall, and believe me, we're going to come back. And uh, but we love what you're doing, and uh, well, look, uh, look, the, the great uh, wall any... of China, actually. We love that great wall, we love that wall, big wall. beautiful wall. And, uh, <laughs> and is there anything in closing that you want to say to the fans? You've got a lot of fans here in America. Is there anything that you want to say, uh, Mr. Chinese Trump? Of course, first of all, before I bow and say bye bye. To everybody, right. I want to say something really from the heart, right? We're going to say, Rang Sing Shu, Kang Ang Sham, Ring Sao Shu, Nang Sao, Kul Ta. Does that mean wow. we, like, we like American Trump, okay? Frankly. 
That's tremendous. Well, we're going to be doing tremendous deals. Chinese Trump, thank you so much. You're a winner. And we're going to talk soon. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a great interview with Chinese Trump. And now we have breaking right here. You can see him. Mexico saw what China was doing. And they said, look, we, we got to have, look, every country, every country wants a Trump. And we have here, we're hearing that Mexico made another Trump too. And Mexican Trump, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Great. Great to be with you, and you're such a handsome guy, right? Do we love that beard? We love that beard. Gracias muy mucho, mi amigo, pero you can use a little bit of facial hair, too. I know you never tried it, but it's kind of like bizarro Trump. People say, like, oh, what if Trump shave his hair, right? They want you to shave the head. They want you to grow a mustache, and they did, I think, even did a photo chop. Or something like that of you. And you look pretty badass, so that's kind of... Well, like you know, I, people love the hair. They tell me women and children, grown men come up to me. We love the hair, so I'll never change the hair. But let me let me tell you this. We wanted to build a wall, okay, to protect our people from... I mean, you have tremendous people, but there were a lot of things happening. There were crime and a lot of things pouring in. Whoa, and, whoa, uh, whoa. Tremendous people. Pero Americanos, have you seen? Have you walked around? You seen these people? I mean, they're so fat. Your people are really the most tremendous. You look at well, it. Well, look, I mean, if you want to go tit for tat, frankly, we call it tit for tat. You oh, guys I can have do a lot. That, of course. You got a lot. There's a lot of rice, okay, and a lot of beans. And look, but when I say tremendous, I mean in spirit. Okay, because I see you people with the maracas. I think it's tremendous. You've got a great spirit. And you're doing great things, but we need to build a wall, okay? And you're going to pay for it, okay? That I can tell you. Oh, really? Well, frankly, I don't think that that's going to happen, really. We looked at it. You know, we looked at the numbers. We talked about it. We had a couple of cervezas, and we sat around. I know American Trump, he doesn't drink, but Mexicano Trump, he be drinking left and right. So really, I make a lot of great decisions in this headspace where I am muy baracho, stumbling around and coming up with different ways to make you pay for the wall. Because we're oh, going to build think, it. No, I don't think so. No, I we're going to build so. it, okay? Oh, you think you're going to build a wall? Where, no, look. That's... Wherever you build a wall, we're going to build a wall on the other side. Because a lot of Americans coming to Mexico. Have you seen this? If you seen BuzzFeed, Vox News, a lot of Americanos coming to Mexico trying to look for opportunidad. And we're going to say well, no. A lot of that is the fake news media. But look, we got a lot of great things from Mexico. You got the tequila, okay? You've got the corona beer, right? But not the virus. That came from China. But Chinese Trump is working that out, okay? See, see? That I could tell you. And uh, But I think, frankly, we could work together and we could build a wall and we could do it. I wanted to put a mall in the wall, okay? A mall a in lot the of wall. A mall in the wall, and maybe you could open up some sort of bar, right? You could serve tequila, right? Frankly, I think we could do tremendous deals. That sounds like a, a pretty fair deal, but you tell me I'm going to pay for the wall. I'm not going to pay for a wall, but maybe I pay for the old wall. You pay for my wall, and then we have double wall, something like that, but I'm not going to pay for no wall, okay? Well, look, you say you're not going to pay for the wall, but you've got all the drugs. You've got the cocaine pouring it. You've got the all these drugs illegally coming out. You look like you've tried cocaine. Have you ever tried cocaine? The American people love cocaine, okay? So when you tell me that's a bad thing, I don't really think so. Think well, it's look, pretty I'm, great. I mean, look, I, I don't support drugs. I don't support drugs, okay? But, I mean, when there's a market, there's a market, and people seem to really like that white powder, okay? You know, I had a brother, and since I was a very pequeño little hoven, little boy, niño, mm. el niño, like a storm, you know? Because I was quite like a storm, like a bam bam from Flintstones, wrecking everything around, really causing a ruckus. Fantastic cartoon, the Flintstones, right? Absolutely. Great documentary, okay? But uh, my brother always told me, my brother Frederico, he said, always drink and always do drug. And since then, I never stopped doing the drink and the drug, okay? Well, I mean, 
it looked like it paid off. I mean, I remember my pal Mel Gibson made a movie in your country, something about, uh, what was it? The uh, Apocalypto. The, Apocalypto, right? I was somewhere between that and Last of the Mohicans, but it was the Apocalypto. Yes. What do you what do you think of Mel Gibson, right? We love Mel. We like Mel a lot. Frankly, Very strong. I like Mel Gibson because <laughs> he tell the truth, you know? Even if you listen to his phone calls, personal phone calls, he's always speaking truth on the phone like that. I hope you get, you know, by these people and you got to watch out for these type of people with the little hats on their head. The That's little right. pequeño sombrero, some type of the head rotundo, see? Well, you know, Mel, Mel has been hanging out with Kanye, okay? We love Kanye West. <laughs> we love I'm sorry, everything. I'm Go ahead, you can laugh. It's I okay. mean, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. We're working on Balenciaga mega hats together. We're doing Fantastic. tremendous deals. But oh, I, Kanye and Mel, they're like best buds now, okay? They're I talking don't about like... the people with the pequeño, uh, the pequeño hats on their heads. Sombrero, okay? see. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Kanye West, his clothing, I don't like it. His mm. hip hop music, I don't like it. But when <laughs> he talk about, I like that. He has the answer sway. And you know Mel Gibson, I <laughs> frankly don't like his movies. But yet again, when you listen to the phone call he making, the thing he says when he doesn't know people listening, he very smart <laughs> hombre. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting you say that. You know, Mel made a movie, The Passion of the Christ, right? Now, you I people, you're very, you're, you're very Catholic, right? Si. You're very Catholic. You love you love the saints, right? Si. Nobody loves the saints like the Mexican people love the saints. And you guys, you do these so weird true. things where you crawl across, right? You're crawling. They crawl across the desert, right? On Easter or some holiday, right? Why wouldn't you? And believe you? me, I know this. I'm a very Christian. Believe me, I the God, right? Jesus Nailed to the cross, right? See? Nobody knows the cross like I know the cross because Jesus was well, a winner. Well, he probably right? knows the cross better than you, but. Well, look, I tell the people, Jesus died for, frankly, the people, right? The world. But I died. Look, I, they took me off the internet, right? We're fighting our way back, but they took us off the internet. What's and the, in this day, I don't know. In this day and age, if they take you off the internet, it's like they killed you. It's like you're dead, right? So, frankly, I was sacrificed for the people. And now I'm back, right? I came back with on this podcast and Truth Social, right? We're doing tremendous, and you know that, right? Are you on Truth Social, Mexican Trump? Frankly, I don't know what is uh, internet. <laughs> Mexican Trump, you crack me up. Look, is there any last things you want to say to the people? I've had such a great time with you, Mexican Trump. That, that I could tell you very strongly. Believe me. Yo también, muy listo. Para hablamos a ti, pero los personas de americanos, por favor, no puedes vas aquí porque no tiene mucho room for you, okay? So wow, I over have there. no idea what any of that meant, but I can't wait to build a wall with you so strongly. We're going to put a big, beautiful door in the middle so Frankly, you can send in some tremendous things. And one more thing. We're going to take so many jobs. I mean, really, uh, people are going to. Oh, I don't go like into, that. We're going like to take. That. If you look at. No, we're going to take the your numeros, jobs. No, no. If you no, look at the numeros, we're taking <laughs> American jobs like the level of people have never seen before. Oh, right? no. I see. I don't know. See. see, now you're a little too Trump, right? I like see. that it was cute. It was cute. It was cute for a minute. Oy. But no, you're not going to play my game. You're not going to beat me at my own game, okay? We're going to work together. You're going to give us the tequila. We're going to give you whatever the hell you need, right? Whatever the hell we can export, maybe some cars or something. I don't know. You people like to drive Fords, but it's going to be great, okay? And we're going to do it together. Thank you so much. And tell the missus I said hello, okay? Believe me. Absolutely, Tito. Ivan Anko. I'll tell her you say ah, hi. Very nice. Look at that. Melanianko. Wow. I'm sorry. Melanianko. Yeah, we do. We love Melania. We love Melania. We love Melania, yeah. and we love this guy, right? Tell Maria I said hello. We do. We love Maria. We'll do. She's okay. so great. She makes the Jimmy Chug, and frankly, the Jimmy Chug is delicious. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Have a great night. Goodbye. And now we have a, a new caller. Uh, uh, this is a big one. Kanye, can you hear me? Uh yes, I I can hear you. 
Now, Kanye, tell the people, you've been getting into a little bit of controversy lately, talking a lot about the Jewish people, right? What's going on with that, Kanye? Tell the people. Uh, well, well, that's the thing. Um, uh, Jew- Jewish people um, and, and, and the, the color brown, like my skin is brown, they, Jews used to be our color. Yo, when people say that we was kings, we were Egyptians and stuff, that's true. And who else was there? The Jews were. And no, that seemed funny. It ain't no calm down. Look, God, I'm laughing because I thought of a joke from three weeks ago. But go you ahead. You don't have going. the answers, Trump. Look, God, yeah, I'm not going to fight you, right? Because you know I love you, okay? All right, you I'm know so, I love I'm, you. I'm okay? sorry. I'm sorry about that. See, so, That's okay. Uh, 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 it's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm try, trying to le- learn and be more uh, aware of, um, of, of everything going on. I mean, if you talk about Walt Disney... Uh, Rockefeller, uh, Simpson, Seinfeld, uh, you know, all people. Are you talking about O.J. Simpson? O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Styrofoam. Okay, Big Mac. You know, Kanye, you're very funny, guy. It's really hard to keep a straight face because you're so passionate. Well, I- I'm out here. I mean, of course I'm passionate. I'm trying to get my kids back from Skeet Davidson, who, by the way, Davidson is a Jewish name. Really? Uh, as, I didn't know that. Yeah. And that's why he's trying to go after my kids because he wants to convert them. But them little weird hats ain't going to fit on my kids' hair. They, they, it's Are springy. you talking about yarmulkes, Kanye? I'm coming out with brand new Balenciaga uh, yarmulkes, Sitsi, <laughs> them little things that hang off, the curls. We're going we're gonna to put Yeezy on them like V2s. It's going to be it's going to be very not- interesting. Wow. Skeet Davison is, is um so really it's like you're working with your fan you, the people are saying you're anti-semitic but really you I mean you're making uh, uh, like like a wonderful like clothing for these people. Yeah, I I can't be uh anti-semitic because yet again my people we are the real Jews. And I was I was I was fitting to go uh Defcon 3 on them but people don't really understand what that means. I was I was. Yeah, I didn't you, know what you meant by that, kid. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell is Ye talking about, right? When you love someone, you got to put them on DefCon. That's like a thing that we say. So it, it's real, all you know, honey and, and butter, and, and you know, Disney, Javonci, Elon that's Musk, very Bill Gates. <laughs> Kanye, that's very interesting. Thank you so much. Any final words? Uh, that that that's about it. Uh, white lives matter, and uh, you know, uh, you know. I couldn't agree more, Kanye. Thank you. Okay. People at home, give Kanye a hand, right? They call him the goat, right? I'm not sure what that means, but uh, give it up for the goat, okay? Believe me. All right, now this guy, we call him Pete or Skeet, whatever the hell uh, Davidson is calling it. He wanted to address the Kanye situation, and I'm just letting you know, Skeet, I don't know much about you. SNL is trash. Used to be funny. (laughs) But Kanye doesn't like you, and I'm Team Kanye, okay? I'm wearing the Yeezys right now, okay? That I can tell you. Wow. I didn't know they made uh, Yeezys that small. I heard you had small feet. (laughs) Huh. Oh, ha, ha, very funny, Pete. Okay. I can see why Kanye doesn't like you. Okay. Like we call and I mean, it, uh, Kim, uh, frankly, Kim at this point is washed up. Okay. I mean, she's sort of yesterday's news. Okay. I mean, on the third butt lift, it's like, give it up. Okay. It's time to retire. Okay. Uh, I, well, I think she's, you know, I don't know. She's pretty hot. She's like an eight. But, uh, we're not really together anymore. I, I, I just, uh, Somebody just told me that he's angry with me. I, I heard him and I texted with him and stuff, but I don't really know what he was saying. So I just thought we were cool. But Well, it, well he's not happy with you, and he's he's very – I think you've got him really angry at the Jews. I'm not sure what the connection is there, but I think you might have triggered something, frankly, in Kanye. Uh, okay. Um, I don't really know. I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to ride skateboards and – I did like a 360 flip the other day. That was pretty cool. Now, and, Pete, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people seem to not really know how you rose to prominence. Why people like you? They don't think you're very funny. You're not particularly attractive. You don't really have winning energy. You don't have the dragon energy that me and Kanye have. Why do people like you? Uh, 
I don't know. Guess I'm pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess maybe girls these days like that nonchalant thing, right? I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't really like try to do anything or, you know, people like it when, uh, you know, SNL is not really important anymore. So they see me giggling on there and they're like, oh, I'm, it's the guy from the thing. That's got to be cool. And, you know, girls like that sort of thing. So, I don't know. Whatever. Well, Pete, this hasn't been very interesting, but you have a good day, okay? I guess we'll talk soon if you have anything relevant to say. But for now, it seems like you just want to, like, mumble to yourself, giggle, and hit that. They call it one-hitter, right? I caught Baron and with the one-hitter. I said, Baron, you're getting a timeout, right? I don't believe in the pot, okay? Wow, uh, pot's pretty cool. You ever hang out with MGK? That's pretty cool. No, I hang out with real winners, okay? People like Diamond and Silk, okay? People like my pillow, Mike Lindell. Although he did try to make out with me, I talked about that previously. But we made up. We made up, okay? We're good now. But Pete, you have a good one. You take care, okay? We're we're getting rid of you, Pete. That's enough from you, okay? <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. And look. Folks, we saved the best for last. This is going to, we call it break the internet, right? We're going to break the internet. Put your hands together for Joe Rogan, everybody. Oh, wow. I appreciate that, man. Joe, uh, I think a lot of people want to see this, right? We Look, this was such a great episode. We had on Chinese Trump, Mexican Trump. We had on wow. Kanye, right? Have you ever had on Kanye? Oh, yeah, he's crazy, man. Yeah, we had on... Pete or Skeet Davidson, we had the whole wow. crew, right? We call it A-list, right? A-list. Although Pete, I don't know how the hell that guy got on the A-list. If you want to know the truth, those are but, bad uh, motherfuckers, man. That's right, and it's so great to have uh, you with me. Uh, but look, I think this is going to be a teaser for the next episode. I want to have you back, and because we're running out of time, so we're going to keep taping, but we'll show it on the next episode, and. Perhaps you could come to Mar-a-Lago and we could talk and uh, we could hang out in that ice bucket thingy that you hang out in, right? We could eat some <laughs> elk, right? Tell the people about the elk, right? Well, elk is, um, it's really crazy where that started from. Um, I think it started with Brazilian jiu-jitsu and um, these guys were doing ayahuasca and it was really crazy and it was like, wow, these are some bad motherfuckers, man. Very interesting. Well, folks, you heard it right here. There's Joe Rogan. We love yeah. Joe. <laughs> and look, there he is. He's doing the famous laugh, right? That Joe Rogan giggle. Let the people hear you laugh. <laughs> wow. So great, folks. That's been our show. Tune in next week. We're going to have some tremendous guests. We're going to be winning big. It only happens here, right? You don't watch the fake news. You watch us. This, because this is the real news, so I want you to like, and I want you to I want you to smash that like button, and I want you to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. Joe, tell the people, tell the people to hit that notification bell, okay? Yeah, you have to give that a spinning back kick or a fucking judo chop it, or it's crazy, man. That's right, with strength and stamina, and nobody knows strength and stamina like Joe Rogan. <laughs> Folks, good night. Stay black, stay Jewish, stay Mexican, stay Chinese. Whatever you do, just be real. Keep, keep the strength, keep the stamina. Sleepy Joe sucks. Crooked Hillary stinks. And we're going to win so big that I can tell you. And good night. <laughs> <laughs>